So, uh, as you see from Jacqueline's uh, video, uh, this story is the story which makes me think about the competition and the award and the training. Because there was like a conflict of, of opinion and uh, a kind of reporting about the story and why the story and why uh, infertility. Some of the uh, coverage was not even mentioning the, the stigma of infertility and the social pressure, uh, not only on Jacqueline, on her husband as well. And, uh, and I felt that there is a gap and we can fill together because it can really change. It does not have to be this way. So um, as you see, um, in 2015, I met uh, a few women uh, while we're doing diabetes and cancer awareness, and they were having a lot of health problems. And I was asking them, hmm, what about the causes and, and why they have this health problem in this age, which is 40s. So they said, because we are infertile. And I said, well, what is the relationship? Then they told me about the social suffering and consequences and the abuse and mistreatment from the communities, from the husband and in-laws. And it was uh, uh, alarming uh, for me. Um, I'm a woman from Africa, from Egypt, and I'm a pharmacist. And I also work as a CEO of Merck Foundation, which is owned by Merck, which is the leader in fertility management in the world. So how can we leave this without addressing it? Uh, I know that nobody else will do it because I know there is a lot of pressure, pressing uh, uh, and more um, urgent health problems and uh, problems in Africa from HIV to hepatitis to other things. But we cannot just ignore this because it will just continue. And uh, it's not like a small number of, uh, of people will say, it's okay, we will come back to them later. It is one couple every four couples are infertile in Africa and developing countries. It's 25% in uh, the couples in reproductive age suffering from infertility stigma. Okay? And then 85% of this number can be prevented because 85% is due to untreated infectious diseases. Uh, it's resulted from uh, child marriage, genital mutation, unsafe abortion, unsafe delivery, STDs, everything we are advocating against every day, it uh, causes infection and it can cause a complication of infertility. It, it will cause complication of infertility if not treated on time. So simple prevention awareness messages, which you are going to see from my speakers today, if you spread it in your media in a way or another, either directly or indirectly, can save people from this stigma. A, a, a huge number can be saved. You know, uh, unsafe, uh, like for example, safe uh, uh, sex, practicing safe sex, avoid uh, um, unsafe, uh, you know, unsafe, uh, risky behavior. Um, a regular checkup to see if there is infection or not. All this can uh, be spread uh, between the young people and uh, the youth, and it can really result in a good result of creating the prevention uh, mindset uh, between uh, communities from the start. Of course, we want also to tell them that infertility is not a stigma. And not only women are suffering from infertility. There is 50% uh, of infertility caused by male factor. But men do not want to admit they can be infertile. Either do not admit, want to admit or they don't know. Or they feel this is really related to their manhood, which is not true. So we need to clarify this. When they, they know that uh, a man, I mean, it's not related to his sexual behavior or sexual ability to be infertile or not. It's actually a man can have 10 children and sexually is not active or, or it's not uh, properly sexually uh, behavior. So, and the opposite. So this is maybe the connection between the taboo that men don't want to say that they are infertile because people will think that they are maybe not men or they cannot do their uh, uh, marriage, uh, you know, uh, thing. So uh, I know that you will be able to, <laughs> to express it better than me. 
because you are the journalist and the media. So we want to uh, uh, spread this hashtag, men too. Men too can suffer infertility. Men too can uh, join the treatment journey of infertility with their wife. Men too can support their wife in their treatment. So we want this. Uh, because I think this is the, the, the main uh, solution, which uh, uh, there is a lot of angles, but this is a very important angle. If men know that they can share the responsibility with their wives, maybe there's a lot of women and a lot of families can be happier and have their uh, happy uh, uh, family and children. And of course, the prevention, which is long term, and then the stigma. We need to break the stigma, and infertility is not a stigma. Now I uh, want to show you some of our activities through uh, many countries in Africa and also Asia. So around maybe 27 to 30 countries we launched Merck More Than a Mother, plus other programs because I uh, uh, heard from you that you need to know what other programs also we do in Merck Foundation. So I will go quickly through my presentation. This is our mission is to uh, build capacity and train doctors and train uh, uh, medical staff because we know that's a lack of uh, professional uh, uh, and skilled uh, doctors and uh, health um, uh, uh, staff is a big challenge and main challenge in Africa and also raise awareness like we are doing today through community awareness campaigns or media training like we are doing today and of course empower women and youth in STEM which is science and technology. We have programs about this as well and um, uh, improve access to innovative and equitable healthcare solution. This is a program, Merck More Than a Mother, Merck Cancer Access Program and Merck Diabetes and Hypertension Award and Merck STEM uh, Program for Women and Youth and Merck Capacity Advancement Program and Merck Community Awareness Programs. Next. Regarding Merck uh, more than a mother, this is the uh, strategy we are following. I know this is the most important one and rele relevant to uh, our uh, uh, program today. is creating a culture shift and destigmatizing infertility and raising awareness about infertility prevention and management and male infertility, like we said next. And uh, education and training for African uh, fertility specialists and embryologists since the lack of trained and skill is a really big challenge to tell you there is some countries still today they don't have even one single fertility specialist. Uh, like for example, uh, uh, we have here in Sierra Leone, in Gambia, in Guinea, in um, Niger, in Chad, in Central African Republic. These countries even, they don't have one single fertility specialist till today. Uh, so simple intervention even with one course of tablets for a week for a, a, a couple can resolve their problem and have children they cannot have it and we training there and making history we training the first uh, fertility specialist in these countries all the countries do not have fertility specialists till today we are training the first fertility specialists and in other countries we are training uh, to have more uh, local fertility specialists and embryologists so it can affect the cost and reduce the cost of the treatment and make the uh, you know uh, the uh, access to treatment better and improve it uh, building advocacy and opening dialogues like uh, we have in our platforms and I can tell you that we have a very important ambassadors uh, like first ladies of Central African Republic, first ladies of Guinea, first lady of Chad and Niger and Sierra Leone and Gambia and uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, first ladies will join us as ambassadors and advocates for uh, breaking the stigma around infertility and Merck more than a mother. Uh, during our uh, annual meeting in Senegal in October as well. So empowering infertile women. So you see that we are doing all this for the strategy to improve awareness and to resolve the problem for the future. But we met a lot of women. If you go to our social media, Merck More Than a Mother or Merck Foundation, you find a lot of stories of women who uh, in the age cannot be treated anymore. Uh, because of their age or their biological uh, status, I felt that it's not ethical to just leave them, telling their sad stories, their suffering during the whole, whole all their lives, no, not knowing what's happening to them. They don't know even, I mean, they feel that they lost their purpose in life and they deserve only to die or to have any kind of treatment, bad treatment, and they accept it because they feel it's their own fault. They don't know. 
So we said, we of course educated them and we empower them with small training, small businesses, like you've seen yesterday in uh, the um, video of the Ugandan women and you've seen with Jacqueline also that we give her a supermarket so she can have her earning, her independent life, to be stronger, to be happier uh, uh, and to discover her purpose in life other than having only children or baby making machines. So we, that's why we're saying more than a mother. Women are more than just mothers. And men are more than just fathers. There is a lot of things in life that can be done and you can add value to the society and society community should respect men and women, whether they have children or not. And this is our role here today to create this respect and establish this understanding. Okay, between people, we are the only one here can do it. I have done it uh, through Merck Foundation, through our social media. We have one million followers and increasing every uh, uh, day. But media in each country, they ha you, ha you reach to places which they cannot reach to social media, with your local language, with your radio, TV, and print and online. Uh, here you see the advocacy in active. You know, so you see the first ladies who's doing their videos and their speeches on social media, they have a lot of followers and viewers, uh, millions actually of uh, viewers, and this actually spreading the word. They are addressing their communities, their people, women and men, to uh, try to educate them and break the stigma and raise awareness about male infertility and respect, creating the respect for couples, whether they have children or not. And you see the First Lady of Niger, First Lady of Gambia, uh, and the Minister of Health of Sierra Leone, and uh, here uh, the uh, uh, former president of Liberia, uh, and she is the first African woman to be president, also joined us in, in, in the campaign. And next. Uh, here in Nigeria uh, was an event also with Her Excellency First Lady of Nigeria, Madame Buhari, and here the former uh, uh, First Lady of Sierra Leone, and uh, of course uh, I know that the also uh, hopefully the uh, uh, new First uh, Her Excellency First Lady of Sierra Leone, we are uh, establishing uh, of course the um, partnership with her and all the media uh, here today is being sent by her so she can start the campaign actively, in an active way. We trained the first fertility specialist in Sierra Leone. There are two, and they are already there now, back to Sierra Leone. I will give you their contact so you can contact them, so establish what you can do together. Uh, next, uh, here, First Lady of Central African Republic. Next, and this is her video in the Central African Republic, uh, Guinea Conakry. Yes, next, and here, the chairperson of uh, the National Assembly of Namibia, Honorable Margaret, and here all the uh, together in uh, one picture during the things. You can see here the viewers. Uh, for example, in our panel we had in Cairo, we have like 400,000 viewers. Next. And uh, this is uh, also the most popular videos because everything we do, we have videos to, 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 to stimulate the opinion and people to read and know more. Next. Uh, here also the most popular videos in our social media. Next. Next. Here's the materials which we developed for raising awareness about the prevention. We had for prevention for male infertility and female infertility. These materials, you will find it in your bags. You can use it, but also it will be uh, had uh, uh, presented to you now in uh, from our doctors about exactly how to prevent infertility for men and women. I hope from the bottom of my heart that you spread this because it can save lives, really. Lives and dignity and pride and, and, and uh, you know, it can create completely a, a different, different atmosphere and environments around us. Um, and of course, I'm not going to go through this uh, uh, in details. Here, for example, uh, also I told you about the empowering for women. We had helped 1,000 women from uh, uh, 12 countries to establish their own businesses and to, ha to be, you know, have independent uh, income and independent life. Next. And of course here, you can see me with the Minister of uh, Health of Uganda, Honorable Sara, while we are giving the women a uh, chicken farm and, uh, you know, uh, ox plow and, you know, simple things they can do, they can earn money uh, and they change their life. And now they become businesswoman. 
if you talk to them, if you see them talking now, it's completely different people. And the community respects them and they want to work with them and they want them to hire them. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, if anyone wants to do a study about economic empowerment for women, and you can see the result in front of your eyes immediately, this is it. Because this is not economic empowerment of normal women who feel, yeah, she needs some support economically. It's completely was uh, uh, broke down uh, socially and uh, morally and culturally and the economic empowerment helped her to recover all this in no time, maybe one month. Next. And here, for example, uh, the video which you've seen now from Jacqueline, it has, uh, until this presentation being prepared, it was 800,000 viewer and a lot of likes and, uh, and share, and, and uh, now it's increased even to be above one million. Next. Uh, the Maasai lady, which is a really fantastic lady, it's called non Nonkipa. She is 50, over 50 years old, and also she never have children. We supported her uh, with two cows, and now she has even five cows, and she become really a businesswoman, and you will see her story before and after and now, because before and after, this one year ago, and now after a year, how she become, and how uh, her life changed completely. She doesn't think anymore that she's infertile or childless or anything. And the videos now, I think it's now have 1.5 1, 1 million viewer. So this is, uh, of course, when you see the video, you see also messages. I put messages on the side of how to prevent infertility. So people who watch it, they also read the messages. They listen to the story. They get uh, connected with, uh, with the impact of, of, of of infertility on the women and suffering, and then the empowerment after the intervention of Merck Foundation, and also read the messages of prevention. So you see how many millions, and these are different people are watching these videos, how many millions are reading these videos with the messages. So I think it can contribute very much to, um, to alert them. Next, please. And here, for example, it's also the, uh, Her Excellency, uh, President of Liberia, and giving award the uh, Medal of Honor, Presidential Medal of Honor, and it has also four Merck more than a mother in Liberia, and it has also 1.2 million viewers. I'm, I'm just giving you an idea how this is very attractive to people to watch these stories and to learn from it. So it's just us need to come up with new ideas, with new stories, and we post it and people see, and this is a new way like uh, uh, Mr. Uh, um, uh, Matata, who, who said from South Africa yesterday, we need to bring people and heroes and heroines from uh, different uh, uh, countries to tell their stories. And this can change the culture. Next, please. Um, also, this is another video about uh, uh, the thing. Next. Next. Uh, here, no. Uh, uh, yes, here is a very important uh, event. We've seen it yesterday, but I didn't see when, when the women give me a gift, when I went to visit them after one year, and they give me a chicken as a gift. And this was my most valuable uh, gift I had in my life. And when I put this on the social media, my husband sent me a message on the social media and said, now you saved me a lot of money. I know now how, what to give you a gift before. If this is the most valuable gift for you, I'll give you a chicken next time. So. <laughs> So I have put it to myself, but he's following uh, uh, everything uh, we're doing, and he's actually talking to his colleagues at work about it, and, and this is what we want. Our families also, it's very important, ambassadors, what we are doing, our neighbors, our uh, community. It's, it's, it can be, you know, small, small uh, things that become big, not only the readers and the followers, it's also our, our families. And this video now, I think it's 1.7 million viewer, which is really very good, very good, because it has the whole things about Merck more than a mother. Signing a MOU with the First Ladies Organization to raise the awareness about infertility and the president of the First Ladies Organization at that mo uh, time was the uh, First Lady of uh, Ethiopia. And also this video had a lot of viewers and uh, a lot of comments and shares, which is almost uh, 700 and now it's more. Next please. Uh, here in Gambia, where, uh, yeah, <laughs> Gambia team, can you? Can you stand up? Yes. This is a thank you and greeting for me to uh, Her Excellency the President. 
is a first lady of Gambia. Uh, I, I went there in Gambia and we had a community awareness and we met all the infertile women and uh, we had uh, uh, talked to them and uh, honored them, give them certificates of and giving them projects to do also in Gambia. And uh, now the media uh, team coming from Gambia as a recommendation also from Her Excellency First Lady of Gambia, Madame uh, Fatomato. And uh, it will, uh, uh, we will come back and they will change the culture completely through their media outlets. And we have a call for action afterwards. This video has 230,000 uh, uh, viewers and next. And this is me and Her Excellency, First Lady, and uh, uh, this video next, next. Yes, here. It's almost 1 million viewers. So it was really a lot of people from Gambia was following this video, uh, Betty and they commenting. So actually we reach a lot of people there and learned about what we are doing and they commenting where to go, uh, what to do. Uh, and there is one of the doctors who is in Gambia. He said, I want to be trained to be fertility specialist. And he contacted me and I sent him to the training. Now he is in India for training. So it's actually very much uh, uh, having a high momentum. Next, please. Here are some stories, uh, for example, this story from Côte d'Ivoire, because also we focused on uh, uh, French-speaking countries, and this is in French, the, her story, Geraldine, was very uh, uh, touching because she was a young woman, and she was talking about how her husband was abusing her in front of her eyes with other women in the house because she cannot be infertile, and he forced her to watch uh, uh, them. So it's really horrible, and this is, was also having a, a, a lot of viewers. We supported her, we had for her a hair salon, and, and she is uh, uh, doing good. Unfortunately, she cannot be treated anymore because the infections, the diseases goes and, 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 and destroyed all the reproductive health because she has infection from, she didn't know about from 14 years old. Next. Next. And here, another one from Nigeria. And we have a lot of programs with Nigeria with also Her Excellency First Lady and uh, her, her foundation. And also this is the stories and also having a lot of momentum and viewers. Next. Here is a song. Uh, you heard the song, uh, which is I, I love, a, to, uh, a song of uh, Tom Close, uh, which I really love. And we also have the song of Merco More Than a Mother with uh, Rosie. She is uh, uh, from uh, Sierra Leone. Can we, the team of Sierra Leone, stand up? Greeting from my side and from all of us to Her Excellency First Lady of uh, Sierra Leone. I didn't meet her yet, but uh, I think we are going to a uh, great partnership and cooperation after you go back. And here is a singer, Rosie. I know, do you know Rosie? Yes? So she, we did the song together. Please sit down. Thank you. And there's a video clip and about the story of African woman. And the video clip is really nice. And now I'm thinking I want you to come up with ideas about the video clip, the new video clip we want to do with Tom Close and his song. So uh, we want a story that also can reach people and watch the video clip and they get, of course, it has a lot of viewers at the moment and we have behind the scene also. Next, next. Here's a training and the testimony of all the people who get trained and how they change their lives, and I follow them to, do, to their countries. And I see what they are doing, how they are doing their work, uh, what many, uh, how many women uh, they, they uh, uh, helped, how many couples they helped, how they raised awareness. So it's a continuous uh, uh, follow-up. It's like reality TV. So uh, from, from before and during the training and after. Next, please. And here, all the countries which uh, we sent from for training. So you can see that we can have a copy of this uh, presentation. And these all the countries who ha we have sent uh, for training is almost more than 50 uh, fertility specialists and embryology specialists across uh, Asia and Africa. Thank you. And next. And here is their pictures. And you will find their quotes in our websites. And uh, their contacts, we will give it to you also. So everyone from his country, uh, whoever has a trainee here uh, from our uh, program, they can con connect with them, write stories. You know, you need to write stories about infertile women, about the uh, trainees uh, and uh, the gra graduate after the training and what they are doing in their clinic, what messages. You know, you can create a lot of things. So there's a lot of materials here. You can deliver the, uh, the information to people in different ways from uh, life. Here's the platforms, international platforms we uh, joined. Uh, um, and it's uh, not important for you at the moment, but just to tell you that we have also global print 
uh, footprint next and here's some of uh, also the videos uh, on the social media. You can also go and look at it. Merck More Than a Mother, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Merck Foundation, and Russia College as well, my, my social media. Next. Yes, next. Here is, uh, now we finished about Merck More Than a Mother. I'll give you very, in, in, in few minutes an idea about the other programs because also talking about health, you want to talk about infertility, but also I'm sure you want to talk also about cancer and diabetes. So we have also programs in uh, cancer uh, access. We provide training for oncologists to be a standalone oncologist. Not talking about one week or two weeks training. We are talking about one year and two years training so they can become an oncologist, go back and help the patients in a proper and very professional way by themselves. So uh, in some countries, again, there is still today, they don't have oncologists. Uh, in Gambia, we are going to train the first oncologist. I think they are going to join. I think he joined already. Or he will join, yes. And then in Niger and Chad, in uh, uh, Guinea, also they don't have oncologists still today. Uh, Sierra Leone, there is no oncologist still today. We are working with the, Her Excellency First Lady to have training, train the first oncologist in Liberia is the same. We already trained the first oncologist in Liberia. So there is some country still today, there is no oncologist. So we are again making history and training the first oncologist in, uh, in the country. And I would like also to create something for South Africa. Because we have uh, uh, Dr. Shoba, he is also from uh, South Africa, he's, he's been training here because we created a fellowship training uh, two years in uh, University of Nairobi, which is very successful and we are opening it now to all African uh, doctors. Next. 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 Here is the country, no, below, uh, this is the countries which uh, we are sending uh, for training from, for oncologists last year, and we are going to expand for or even more training and more people from each country. Next, this is the uh, pictures and the people who already uh, got trained uh, and or uh, under the process of the training. They are conducting the training at the moment. Uh, next, the different countries. And uh, of course there is more. And here is from, uh, yeah, and there is some posters and things we have done to, 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 to describe, previous please, to describe their quotes and their uh, testimony and uh, what is the status in their country. This also can help you a lot in your, um, in your uh, uh, coverage because you don't have also to cover only for your country. You can say, uh, this is what's happening in Gambia and this is what's happening in other countries and uh, this is what they achieved. Let us learn from this. Let us exchange information from here. So it can also, uh, 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 having now networking together, you can have a pan-African perspective to your reporting easily. Uh, next. Next. Okay, next. Next, next. This is also some of the videos and the uh, social media. And here my meeting with the uh, African uh, uh, fellows in India because we have two places, uh, actually four places, uh, one in Cairo University, one in India, Tata Memorial Hospital, another one we created newly in University of Malaya, uh, Malaysia, and uh, uh, the, the third one is University of Nairobi for African Docs. Yes, next is the Diabetes and Hypertension Award. It's very important. I will come back to you to address it and also to announce it in your countries because we want to have more doctors who just graduated, post-graduates, to apply for the award Diabetes and Hypertension. And the award is very prestigious. It's one year online diploma in UK University, South Wales University. After they graduate, they have the accreditation from UK and they have the diploma and become diabetologists and they can actually easily develop a diabetes clinic in their country easily and they run it by themselves so uh, it will be great if uh, it can be um, advertised properly and encourage people to apply because we cannot reach all of them but uh, we have until now next next these countries are 25 countries has benefited from this award and I want to increase to more countries from Asia and from Africa. And this is the testimonies as well. Uh, and um, yes, next. And here's the STEM program for women and youth. I'll stop here uh, because I don't want to dilute the message. 
let us focus today mainly on Merck more than a mother with small little scope, 10% if you want to ask about cancer and diabetes programs, uh, but mainly today to break the stigma around infertility and infertile women. And the other thing is the background for you in the future when you want to cover something else. So thank you very much for uh, uh, listening to me. And uh, of course, uh, don't, don't forget hashtag men too and hashtag no for infertility stigma. And don't forget to apply for the award, Media Recognition Award next year. From today, just you can start to, uh, to apply and to also uh, uh, encourage your uh, colleagues in your countries to apply. Okay, great. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. <laughs>